Thomas the Tank Engine. This is a mixed traffic engine. He can pull coaches and freight cars as many as he likes. His driver is always pleased with him. Sir Thomas has thinks you're the smartest engine ever. And, and the greatest. He Fox so too. One day, he was talking to Thomas and Percy. Percy was in it. Thomas was in a siding while Percy was taking the mail. I'm the pride of the line, he says, and rubber, said Thomas. So we're all pride of the, the line. So Thomas has said so. You, wanna, you know what, James? Said Percy. What? Asked James. You're getting all fed up, said James. Percy. James had enough and steamed off. Later, Gordon was taken express when he saw James on the side. I'm the part of the line, said James. I saw him pull freight cars, said Gordon. I'm a mixed traffic engine, said James. If this top and hat's going to give me plans, he was only making this up. What plans? asked Gordon. Uh, wait to see, said James. Oh dear, he thought. What should you do? Later, he was in the in, in the station when Thomas puffed in with, with his coaches. Can I take your Annie and Clarabel for a special train? Asked James. No. So, so I'm giving them the Gordon. You can, I'm going to pick your freight cars out. James was only making things up. Actually, so Thomas had asked me to pull the coaches. But what about the fr troublesome trucks? Asked Thomas. Give them the Gordon, said James. Go on, he said. Orders are orders. And that's what Thomas did. With a real smirk, they cut the way. But he had to get the book sick. Thomas has to miss the freight cars. He put the, he put the truck in a side. Where are my coaches? asked Gordon. And why the signal all damped up? Thomas explained everything. And he, so here are your freight cars, said Thomas cheekily. Ran off last. <laughs> Leaving the truck behind. Gordon and driver across. We had to that Thomas had. Here's the news. He said. James was having a wonderful time of his life. Thank God, said Thomas. Some jokes are funny, said Sir Thomas. Had, but not this one. You have caused the digital and delay. Yes, sir, said James. You must go to a shed and think of what you done. James crossed the foot. Up, on and across. Away. He turned into a siding. He made a You know, said Percy, I wonder who's going to take the express. I think Gordon will, said, said Stanley, because two t James is in a disgrace. James felt all the bad. A few days later, Thomas was shunting freight cars when James came by. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said, said James. Are those my freight cars? Yes, yeah, said Thomas. They're very pleased with him. Bye. <laughs> James quickly biffed and bashed his freight car. At the end of the day, he was fully rested. When a man came, I'd like a ride home, please. The driver explained it was a very important visitor. James was happy to help. He showed them all kinds of places. And when they got home, the cabin cab was pleased. This is the VFP, the railway inspector, said the top head. I think you proved you're a very useful engine. Not the pull freakers, but the push coach as well. James was excited. Oh, sir, said James. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do.